Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be seeing about um, uh, the guideline for myocardial infraction. In this myocardial infraction also, one thing is very peculiar that is by, if the patient is coming with history of myocardial infraction along with chest pain, how will you code? We, have, we should be uh, very clear about three things while coding this history of myocardial as well as chest pain. You should be very clear with three things. Then only you will come to know which should be assigned as a primary code, whether we should assign history history as a primary code or chest pain as a primary code here in this video i have clearly explained the three contents so that you can uh, make a note of it as well as i have added the coding example also so it will be very clear for you to understand this why i have added this question is because most of the cpc exam people get confused in this okay so in this scenario we should consider mainly three things as i said first one is primary reason for encounter second one relevance for his history of mi third one is provided documentation primary reason for encounter means we should determine the primary reason why the patient is seeking uh, medical care during this encounter whether it is for chest pain or it is for another reason so in relevance of uh, history of MI means uh, whether uh, the history of MI is for the current encounter that you have to check and the proper documentation whether it is clearly uh, the chest pain and the history of MI whether it is clearly associated whether they both are related. So these three things are taken into the consideration when while assigning this primary code. So we will see like for each thing how we can code. So first one is if the chest pain is directly related to the previous MI and the provided document the relation explicitly. So here the chest pain is clearly related to the MI. In this case if the chest pain is related to the history of myocardial infraction then the history of myocardial infraction should be the primary code. You should read the question very carefully. The patient is having history of MI as well as chest pain. In this case you should see whether the provider is documenting that the chest pain is clearly related related to the previous MI. In this case, history of MI should be the primary code and chest pain should be the secondary code. So, in the next slide, I have added an example. So, please make a note of it and uh, study it. Okay. So, here a 55 years old patient is coming to the hospital with MI and he is also having chest pain. Here it is uh, documented that the chest pain is related to the MI. So, here I have added the old myocardial infraction history code as a first code and chest pain as a second code here in this explanation it is given like since it is related since it is related we are coding the history code as a primary code okay so now we will see like uh, you can read the example as well as you can make a note of it and keep so that while uh, going through the myocardial infraction guideline it will be really helpful for you so next we will go through the second point second point of this is um, that is also very important because while coding you should go through all these three points okay so second point is if the chest pain is determined to be unrelated to the previous mi so here the patient is having history of mi as well as he is having chest pain but this chest pain is not related to the previous mi there is no clear association documented by the provider in this case chest pain should be the first code history of of mi should be the second code is it clear if the chest pain and the history of mi is not related to each other then the chest pain should be the primary code and the history of mi should be the second code in the previous slide since it is related we have given history of mi as a primary and chest pain as a secondary here it is not related that's why we are coding chest pain as a primary code and history of mi as a secondary code so here is an example here the patient is having history of myocardial infraction and he is coming to the uh, emergency room to the chest pain. The patient described pain as sharp and uh, left side of the chest. This is determined due to the musculoskeletal strain. So, musculoskeletal strain is not related to the previous myocardial infraction. So, since it is unrelated, we are coding uh, chest pain as a primary code and old myo history of MI as a second code. Below that, I have given you the explanation also so make a note of this guideline as well as take a note of this uh, example also so when you are having a confusion you can go through it and it will be really helpful for you to understand how to code this now we will move on to the 
third point that is also an important point so third point is if the encounter is primarily for monitoring the management of history of mi with the uh, chest pain being secondary concern sequencing the history should be the um, primary code following by the chest pain okay so here they are related but the patient is coming to the hospital for the treatment of history of mi okay so that uh, here uh, the primary attention is given for history of mi so even though they are related that's why we are coding history of mi as a primary code and chest pain as a secondary code for your more understanding if you watch the next slide you will get a clear understanding because i have added an example for this so that it will be really helpful for you to understand how it is related now we'll get into the example here a 70 year old male, male patient with the history of mi is presenting to the clinic for a routine visit and here he is also having occasional chest pain that is repeat episode of angina here he is evaluating the medical regimen which is completely related to his coronary artery disease so he is here the patient is coming to the hospital to uh, for the follow up visit of his mi old mi so here we are coding the history of mi that is old mi as a primary code along with that he is having episode of chest pain that's why chest pain is coded as a second code hope so all the three points are clear for you so whenever you see a question with mi and chest pain go through this uh, like have a clear knowledge about these three points and relate these three points into your question so that it will really helpful uh, help uh, you to assign a proper code in the summary the sequencing of code should accurately reflect the circumstances of the encounter and the relationship between the chest pain and the history of mi in proper documentation so this is all about mi and chest pain history of mi and chest pain coding concept okay so thank you so much for watching my video please make a note of all the three points as well as the example which i have given so it will be helpful for you to answer very properly so thank you so much um, this is also an important interview question as well as a cpc question most of us get uh, wrong while coding this because we we usually know no history code should not be coded as a primary code that's why we will give the symptom code as a primary code so don't do that mistake here go through these three points and then answer thank you so much for watching my video take care we'll catch up in the next video one more thing if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe take care bye bye